Yes, students. Hello. Good morning. I hope my voice is audible. You can put in a chat box. You can see in uh, Zoom. I have entered as a Laksha PDH. Yes, am I audible? Yeah, 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 sir. You are audible. Kya baat hai? Great. Okay, Himani, Lalit, uh, Prathmesh. How are you all fine? How's your Sunday morning? I'll just take this bit here. Okay. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Who all are with us today? We have Arohi. Hi, Arohi. Good morning. Arya, Omkar, Gargi, Himani, Imad, Ishan, Kavya, Laiva. Great, very good. We have somewhat around 28 kids. Okay, good morning. Good morning, all. Okay. Yeah. So anyone who has met me before or have seen me before, anyone? Arohi might have seen. Okay, if you are from Ambarnath. Okay, Vaishnav is from Mira Road. Okay, great. Pratmesh. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. JB Nagar, Lalit is from JB Nagar. Okay, great. Okay, fine. So today we are meeting for a very important part, right? A chapter called as an electric current, right? Now this chapter electric current, have you ever heard about electric current? Okay. See now today's session of upcoming two hours, right? It is from 7.30 to 9.30. Okay. So this session will be a bit interactive session, not a verbal interaction, but a typing interaction. Okay. So I want all of us to uh, type the messages in the chat box. Okay. We will communicate via chat box. Okay. I won't be able to unmute you all because any which way is the voice won't be audible in this studio. Okay. So uh, have you ever heard about this word or this two letters that is electric current? Yes or no? Yes. Himani is saying yes. Okay. Sanskar is saying yes. Okay. Nilav is saying yes, yes, yes. Okay. So in our life, we have always heard this word current. Okay. We have always heard this word, word current, right? But before that, there is a one important part. That is what? Electric. That is what? Electric. Okay, let us start understanding the what is the meaning of electric current. Okay, what do you mean by current first of all? What do you mean by current? See, Sanskar is saying it's a flow. Whereas, Imaj is saying it is a flow of electron. I just told what is current. Yes, what is current? Have you ever heard about the waves, C waves current or C currents? Have you heard about C currents? Yes. Correct. Okay. So basically what is current? Current is nothing but a flow. What is current? Current is nothing but a flow. And what do you think? Kiska flow, sir? Whose flow it is? It's the flow of a electric. Okay. Electric means charges right charges might be positive might be negative in our cases okay 99 percent of the time we have the negative charges which are flowing correct yes or no yes current is the rate of flow of charge correct lalit you can say that part no doubt yes in our case it will be rate of flow of charges right what is current current is nothing but the electric current is nothing but the rate of flow of charges okay yeah okay so all are well versed with this topic, right? This topic was in ninth standard, I suppose. Yes or no? This topic was in ninth standard, yes or no? Or 10th standard? Okay, I can see there are somewhat around 38 kids, but the kids which are communicating are hardly 7 to 8 kids. I want all of us to communicate. See, more you communicate, more you will be in the lecture, okay? So, Laiva is saying yes, sir. Yes, 10th. Sanskar is saying yes, 10th. Aro is saying, sir, 8th and 9th. Aro, you are from Ambarnath branch? Okay, 9th and 8th. Yes. 10th effects of electric current. Yes, good, Aro. Okay. Yeah, fine. Great. Okay, yes, Aro is from Ambarnath. Okay. Fine. Now, uh, let us come towards the main part, sir. Uh, how will be the next two hours? Okay. The next two hours, mein kya hone wala hai, sir? what is the flow of upcoming two hours? Okay. See, theory part is done in your schools, I suppose. Yes or no? Yes. Theory part is done in your school itself. Okay. The theory is yesterday I sent a message in a group regarding same. Okay. The theory part is done.
today we'll be just going through the numericals part okay how to solve the numericals how to solve the tough numericals okay today's lecture as we are meeting for the first time will be a bit at a easier level next sunday's lecture where we will be studying effects of current electricity right effects of electric current that will be a chapter or lecture in which we'll be seeing ntsc level questions okay second thing for upcoming two hours okay the starting 15 minutes to 20 minutes will be a revision part of formulas specifically of formulas okay and then upcoming 1.5 hour will be the solving part okay upcoming 1.5 hours will be the solving part okay i what i have done is that i have taken le easy level questions to the difficult level questions okay the more difficult level questions will be written in the next lecture that is on the next sunday am i clear with the flow of this anyone is having a doubt regarding this yes you all can put messages in the chat box okay my name is uh, laksha pdh okay so don't send on empty admin because that will be going towards the host which is on the back of the screen okay send messages on the laksha pdh am i clear with the flow of today's session yes or no no doubt yes joshua is saying no doubt sanskar is saying yes i want more replies i want more answers i want my lecture to be a communicative yes neither is saying yes okay fine so let us start with the first part okay let us start with the first part okay yeah these are the some basic formulas of current electricity these are some basic formulas of current electricity have you heard this formulas anyone q is equal to it w is equal to qv q is equal to any yes or no you might have heard this okay you might have heard this but uh in some another format i suppose yes everyone yes q is equal to it w is equal to qv and q is equal to any okay now this is a type a problems right these are the basic formula problems okay you can see the first the first formula is what it is your q is equal to it the first formula is your q is equal to it right second formula is w is equal to qv and third is q is equal to any First of all, sir, what is Q? What is I? What is T? What is W? What is Q? What is V? What is N? What is E? Let us see the first part. That is the basic quantities which are required for my current electricity. Okay. See, I'll be giving you a flow for remembering all the formulas. You need to just remember that flow. Okay. See, for current electricity, we know that the charges will be flowing. Right. So, whenever I say charge is flowing, obviously, it will take some time. Correct. So charges, amount of charges flowing per unit time is nothing but what it is your current. That is I is equal to Q by T. That is I is equal to Q by T. That is the reason Q is what? I into T, right? So that is your first formula, which you can see that is Q is equal to I T. That is your Q is equal to I T. Am I clear with first formula? Q is equal to I T. Yes. Any doubts in this? Yeah, a basic formula, right? Basically, charge is what? It is current into time or the, the traditional method is of a current. Current is charge flowing per unit time. Assume there is a wire in front of you, right? The charges flowing are very high in less amount of time. You will say that, sir, current is more, right? At the same time, if there is a wire in which there are less amount of charges flowing in more amount of time, you will say that, sir, in this wire current is very much less yes or no everyone yes or no doubts any doubts in this no vaishnavi Swamya. yes sir clear 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 okay okay i guess this is very much clear no more doubts in this okay fine yeah second part okay now remember this formula we are connecting this formula with our work power energy concept right what is the basic formula of work done come on what is the basic formula of work done what is the basic formula of work done anyone what is the basic formula of work done what is work mgh more basic more basic more basic Okay, okay, I can see. I can see. Okay. 
Sanskar, I am talking about the work done. You are saying me the formula of force. Okay, power into time. Yes, work done's basic formula is what? It is force into displacement. Yes or no? Work done's basic formula is force into displacement. Very good. Sartak has given me the answer. Lalit, Niyar. Okay. Yes, it is force into displacement, right? Now try to understand clearly. Okay. In a normal work done, there is a force and the displacement. That force in normal work done is equivalent to voltage in the current electricity. Hence, the force is replaced by voltage. And uh, displacement, pe kiska hoga? displacement will be of a charge. That is the reason it is Q. See, basically, the derivation is a bit different. But right now, we need shortcut tricks for remembering these formulas. Hence, we are just understanding, we are comparing the formulas and we are creating a new formula for current electricity. Am I clear with this part? Because see, whenever you are going for any of the entrance exams, it doesn't matter what is the derivation. The things which matters are what? How quick you can remember the formula. How relatively you can remember the formulas, yes or no? That is the reason we are just comparing this with a normal formula. And just this is a trick to remember this formula. Am I clear with this part? Yes, yes, yes. Lalit is saying charge particle, yes. I hope I am clear with all the things, right? Yeah. Okay. You need to be a bit communicative so that uh, you can enjoy the session. At the same time, we can gain some extra knowledge and tips and tricks for our uh, N number of exams, which we are going to give in upcoming years. Okay. And the third formula is what? It is basically total amount of charges which is flowing through a wire. Okay. N is your number of charges. What is E? Can anyone say what is E? Okay. I guess uh, you all should know what is E. So what is E? Anyone? Yes, I'm waiting for your answers in my chat box. Yes, very correct, Nihar. That is your uh, number of electrons is N, whereas E is charge on one electron. For example, Achha, by the way, what is the charge on one electron? Come on, I want that answer from you all. Very good, sir. It is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulombs, right? It is the charge on one electron. For example, for example, I have a conductor. Assume this is a conductor. Okay, assume this is a conductor, correct? This conductor has 10 charges. This conductor has 10 electrons on it. Okay, it's an example. Okay, so what is the total charge, sir? It is nothing but number of electrons, that is N, that is your 10, into charge on one electron, that is the E, that is 10 into E. Am I clear with this part? No more doubts in this. First three formulas or first three basic formulas are clear to all. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, Joshua is saying yes. Well, where are all others? I can see now there are 47 kids, means there are 45 kids. Okay. I am just getting messages from four or five people. How is that possible? Where are all others? Kavya, Kushi. Sardak, Sanskar, Sharyu, Shubham, Soham. Yes, Samruddhi, Vaishnavi. Oh, yes, Vaishnavi is giving answer. Okay. Come on. Great. So, these three formulas are clear. First is Q is equal to ID. That is I is equal to Q by D. Charge flowing per unit time is your current. Second is your W is equal to QB. It was basic formula was force into displacement. We are in which chapter? We are in current electricity, right? If we are in current electricity, the force is to be replaced by what? Voltages. And displacement kiska hoga? It will be of a charge. Right? And the third is your Q is equal to any total number of charges. Okay? See, this is a trick. What I am saying, na? same you need to say to yourself. While you are remembering the formulas, while you are memorizing the formulas, or while you are solving the numericals of current electricity. Am I clear with this part? Yes. Basic formulas. Very clear. Okay. Good. Shall we go ahead? Okay, fine. Now, this was the first part or you can say type A part. Okay, these are the basic formulas of this chapter. Okay. Now, let us see towards the second part. That is the type B part. Okay. Now, these are something, uh, the part in which whole current electricity depends. Okay. You go in your 11th, 12th standards, whether you be in your 10th standards, 
whether you be in your engineering part, whether you go in your MSA physics or BSA physics part, V is equal to IR. Have you ever heard what is this V is equal to IR? Yes, V is equal to IR. Suna suna lag raha hai, right? It is your what? Very good, Ria. It is what? It is Ohm's law, right? This is the base of this chapter. Okay, in upcoming 11, 12 standard, you will be learning Kirchhoff's voltage law. You will be learning meter bridge concepts. You will be learning n number of concepts. But in all the basic part, whenever you need to apply Kirchhoff's laws, right? In each of the law, it is nothing but the extended part of this. Okay, you will always see V is equal to IR, right? Voltage is equal to current into resistance. Voltage is equal to current into resistance. By the way, what is resistance? Can anyone say what is resistance? Yes, yes, yes. What is resistance? Come on, yeah. Come on. There are 50 kids and no one can answer. Yes, obstacle, Suman. Very good. Uh, sorry, Ujwal. Ujwal. Okay. The hindrance of electrons. Very good, Joshua. Sardar is saying oppose the charge. Uh, basically, you can say it is the opposition given by a conductor in order to flow a current. Right? But what do you think? If what is the resistance is zero, do you think there will be some current in it? What if what if the resistance is zero? Do you think there will be some current? Yes or no? Yes. Current will be there, but do you think there will be some voltage in that particular conductor? Will there be any voltage in that conductor? Yes or no? Lalit is saying no, Joshua is saying yes, Swami is saying no, Vaishnav is saying no, Sarada is saying no. What is voltage formula? It is current into resistance. Now I am saying that resistance is zero. So there will be some amount of current. See, current and resistance are independent. Na? Right? But if I say that either one of them becomes zero, means the voltage will be zero. Right? That is what that every conductor will provide some resistance. If it is not providing any resistance, means there will be no voltage across it. Okay. Yeah. So this was the first formula. That is V is equal to I. Yeah? Second formula. What is this R? This R is resistance. Resistance depends upon what, sir? It is nothing but your rho into L upon A. What is rho? Again. Very good, Ria. It is resistivity. What is your L? That is your length of the conductor. And what is A? A is the area of cross section of that conductor. Okay. It is directly proportional to L and it is inversely proportional to A. Am I clear with this part? Thickness. Yes, Sardak, you can say the thickness. Okay. R is what? It is rho L by A. Am I clear with this part? These two formulas. Okay. Yes, Ria, very good. Resistivity, length, and uh, area of cross section. Okay. And this is the type B problems. Okay. Type 1 is the basic problems regarding the current. Type B is basic part regarding the voltage. Okay. Yes. So next will be what? Next will be what? Yes. Next will be my type C problems. Okay. And these are something are uh, type C problems which you all can see. Okay. First of all, okay. In first slide, we had some basic formula, right? Which was the basic formula? It was what? The first formula was Q is equal to IT. Second was W is equal to Q into V. Yes or no? Second was your W is equal to Q into V, right? So, okay. We'll just have an explanation over here. What is the W? W is your Q into V. But we know that we can substitute this Q as what? IT. Okay. Q is equal to IT. And we can substitute this V as what? I into R. Yes or no? I into R. Am I correct with this part? Are you able to understand this? Yes. Please put in the chat box so that I can understand. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. Okay. Now. This I into I is what? I square. This R is nothing but what? This part. And this T is what? This part. So we get a work done formula as I square R into T. I square R into T. Again, learn the basic formulas. 
build build those basic formulas you will get a third new formula what are the concept learn basic formulas build those formulas you will get the new formulas yes what is the concept repeat with me i at your home learn the basic formulas build those formulas you will get the new formula okay w was q into v how we remember w it was force into displacement in our case force is given by the voltage and displacement is of what displacement is of a charge this is just a trick to remember this formula in physics no need of by adding anything all things are logical never by add things in physics or in science in fact am i clear with this part right so basic formula was q into v right so what is your q q is i into t what is your v v is i into r right so i into i becomes i square r as it is t as it is am i clear with this part Am I clear? The first formula of work done that is I square R D. Yes or no? I want messages in my chat box. Yes, Lalit is saying yes. Hemani yes. Joshua is saying yes. Where are all other students? Riya, Sartha, good. Laiba is saying yes. Very good. Come on, come on, come on. I want replies from more students. Sunday morning, Diwali time, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess you are able to see the screen. Yeah. Fine. Now. Now, now, okay. I know it's R square R D. Clear. First formula is clear. Let's. Can anyone say me how this this formula comes into the picture? Why does V square T by R? What is the substitution I need to do in this case such that I get this formula? Can anyone say me in the chat box? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Work on your mind. Yes. Make your mind active. Yes. V plus IR or V is equal to IR Joshua. Yes, Ohm's law. But what? Give me the substitution. Very good. Arohi is saying, sir, substitute this I as V by R. Yes, we know that basic formula of Ohm's law. That is what Ohm's law is. V is equal to IR, right? So I know that what is I? I is your V by R. So I square becomes V square by R square. And this one R gets cancelled out. So V square T by R is the formula which we get. Very good, Ria. Yes, you thought correct. It's Ohm's law. It is basically substitution of V is equal to I R. In R case, we got I. Hence, we'll be substituting I as V by R. Am I clear with this part? Yes, second formula is clear. Everyone, each and everyone, second, second formula, second formula. Any doubts? Please put in the chat box. Don't get worried or don't feel shy. Okay. Any which ways? I am the only one who is seeing the messages. Okay. Sartak is saying yes. Manas is saying yes. I is equal to V by R. Other all, what you are doing? I want replies. Very good. Nilo from Virar is replying. Sanskar from Nirul Branch. Good. Khushi. Yes. From JB Nagar. Kya baat hai? Great. Come on. Okay. Now, what is the third substitution then? Can anyone say what is the third substitution? How can I get V, I, and T? Anyone? Come on. Sir, V is equal to IR only one V. Yes. V is equal to IR only one V. Why? Because, see, I will be V by R. Na? So, it will be V square by R square. Hence, V square by R square. And this R is already there. That will be getting cancelled out. The square and this R will get cancelled out. Hence, IR answer V as. Yes. Uh, what we can do in this third case? V, I, T. Anyone? Can I substitute this R? Yes. We know that what is V? V is equal to I into R. So what is R, sir? R is your V by I. Yes, R is your V by I. So can I substitute this is V and there will be an I at the upper part. So this square and this square gets cancelled out. What I will be getting? I will be getting V, I, T. Yes, V, I, and T. Any doubts in this case? Yes, any doubts in this case? Yes, very good. I can see students are giving answer. Kya baat hai yaar, badia. Very good. Nice. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's move towards the next part. Okay. And the last part is nothing but the power. Okay. What is power? Have you ever see now when you are studying any of the formulas? Do you wonder why this formula is like this? For example, in our case, if I'm saying that power is work done upon time. So have you ever wondered why is it is work done upon time? Why not time upon work done? 
कैन एनी वन से यस साधक रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क जोशुआ सिंह सर वी कैन ऑल्सो सब्सिड वन ऑफ द वी विथ वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर यस यू कैन सब्सिड वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर इन दिस केस यस सो इट विल बिकम आई स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर नो डाउट दिस बिकम्स योर आई स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर आर विल बी गेटिंग कैंसल आउट एंड अगेन वी विल बी हैविंग वन आई आर इन टू आर दैट इज योर अगेन वी पार्ट तो इट इज वी आई टी यू कैन डू एनीथिंग सो टाइम इज इंडिपेंडेंट यूनिट ओके ललित सो आर्यन इज सेइंग सर वर्क डन पर इन टाइम हेंस एफिशिएंसी ओके एफिशिएंसी देन But what if I can say if it's time upon work done? Like how can I imagine the things? Because when I say physics, it is a part which is of a much more practical, right? So how can I imagine the things? That is what I'm trying to understand. Yes, work done is a greater quantity. Okay. Okay. I'll just give you one example. Okay. How it is work done upon time? See, this is the way I I won't be able to give explanation for each and every formulas which we study. But I'll just give you the explanation for this. Then you can apply for all the formulas. Okay, yeah. Okay. Now you all are in the tenth standard, correct? And assume there is a bodybuilder at your area. Okay. Assume that there is a bodybuilder at your area or near your area or in your area. Okay. Now you and that bodybuilder guy goes into a gym. Okay. Are you all with me? Yeah, you and the bodybuilder guy goes into a gym. Okay. Now we will be having a bundle of five and we will be uh, trying our biceps. But do you think that same guy will be trying for five kg biceps? Yes or no? Do you think that same guy will be trying for a five kg bicep? Right? No, right? He will be trying for somewhere around twenty to twenty five kgs, which we won't be able to. I guess we won't be able to even lift it up, right? Can I say he is doing more work than you? Can I say he is doing more work than you? Yes or no? I want the answer in chat box. Can I say he is doing more work? Why? Because we are lifting a five kg dumbbell, and he is lifting twenty kg dumbbell, four times of your dumbbell's weight. Yes. At the same time, at the same time, he will be lifting that weight less than you are, less than the time which you are taking, right? means what he has a more power than you correct he has a more power than you see if power is more the capacity to do work is more in less amount of time okay that is the reason you can say if i have a capacity to do more work means i have more power yes at a time of a night where the whole day routine is done do you have power to do in some work yes or no Do you have power to do some work at night time? No, na. Why? Because we are unable to do work. Why? Because we have a have a capacity to do work less. Hence, we have less power, na. But in the morning time at seven thirty lecture of current electricity, we all are standing up and sitting for a lecture with a whole some power, dedication, and concentration. Why? Because we can learn new things. We can have a good work done for upcoming two hours, right? And that is how the power will be more in morning and less in the night time. Yes. So if you have capacity to do work, so more the work done, more will be the power. More work done in less amount of time means more power. Am I clear with this part, everyone? How to remember the formulas? You can take the physical or a practical examples, okay, and you can learn the formulas. I hope this is clear to everyone. No more doubts in this. Okay, no sir. Yeah, I want replies from other students. Come on, yeah, it's a Sunday morning. Diwali ka time hai, right? नींद नहीं आना चाहिए सुबह सुबह सर सो हाउ टाइम इज रिलेटेड सी इफ यू से आई एम गिविंग यू सम वर्क डन ऑफ से सम फाइव जूल्स ओके आई एम दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन सार्थक इज आस्किंग सर हाउ पावर इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टाइम एंड जोशुआ एज अ सेम क्वेश्चन सर हाउ टाइम इज रिलेटेड ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फाइव से द ट्वेंटी के जी डम्बल ओके विच यू विल बी लिफ्टिंग एंड अ बॉडी बिल्डर विल बी लिफ्टिंग ना यू विल बी लिफ्टिंग इन अ नॉर्मल स्पीड But do you think we'll be lifting at a normal speed? We will take some amount of time, right? More probably we will take a more amount of time, right? He will be taking less amount of time. So why? Because he has a more power than us, na. That is the reason he will be able to lift that dumbbells in less amount of time. We have some less power, so we will actually struggle even to take the bundle, uh, take the dumbbell and just have a one rep also. Am I clear with this, Sarthak and Joshua? 
Yes. Okay. This is just an example which I am giving you, which you can remember for your 10 standard examinations for all the formulas of physics. Maximum, not all, because lenses and all have some different, different part of it. Uh, you can remember this same concepts for your 11, 12 standard. Once you go in 11, 12 science, right, there will be n number of formulas. So in that case, this methodology comes into the picture. Okay. So once you will be in a lecture, obviously we will be teaching you those methodologies and all the formulas will be by you. Don't worry. Okay. Let's move towards the further part. Okay. These are the type C problems. Okay. Yes. And then power is your work done upon time, right? So basically you remove time from each of the formulas, you will get the formula of a power. Am I clear? Like the power in this case will be I square R. In this case it will be V square by R. In this it will be v, v into I. Okay. Basically it is a power. Okay. And the electric power is energy upon the time, right? Electric power should be in kilowatts and time should be in hours. It's a standard unit. Okay. Until and unless, until and unless, in numerical, the units are not given. Okay. 99% of the cases, we will always use kilowatt hours. But in your questions and in options, it is somewhat of watts per minute or watts per second. Accordingly, we need to convert the things. Am I clear with this part, everyone? Yes. Am I clear with this part, everyone? Perfect. Okay. So this is your type D part. Okay. And then the, we have some formulas. Again, these are the same formulas which you can see over there. Okay. So, sir, now uh, the theory part, the basic part for a today's session or the theory part for the today's session has been done. Okay. Now, the important part, right? Sir, what's that important part, sir? Please let me know, sir, what's that important part? The important part, that is the, now we'll solve the numericals in a quizzes form, right? I want everyone to join this part, okay? Join my quiz.com, okay? And enter this game code, that is 548. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, come on. I want everyone to join. Very good, Sartha Gemani. See, there are somewhat around 50 kids I saw just now, right? Great, it's been 60 now. Okay, I want everyone to join this session. Yes, yes, come on, come on, fast. 60 means there should be somewhat around 50 kids who should be joining, right? What do you need to do? Go on my joinmyquiz.com. Okay, enter game code as 548205. Come on. Yes, yes, I can see 13 students have joined. Other all, what you all are doing? Please join the session. Come on. Okay, so who have joined? Simon, Nilav, Navneet, Rohan. Okay, who's this? Navneet. Okay, Navneet, okay, fine. Arya, Omkar, Prekshita, Om, Imad, Riya, Soumya. Oh, Soumya is from Khadakpada. Great. Arohi, Om, Ishan, Sarthak. Okay. We'll wait for some seconds, right? 34. Where are the other 20 kids? Come on. Join fast, right? Come on. Asli mother to quizzes khelne mein hai. Aajau. Okay. So I guess 34, 35 students have joined. Some might be joining. Okay. We'll start the session. Okay. Now some, there are some, some, some sort of questions. Okay. Some questions will be new for us. Okay. Some questions will be uh, unknown to us. Okay. What I'll try to do is that though the question is one, but what are the different possibilities that can be asked in a question? We will try to do that part. Okay. And there are some theory questions also. Okay. Which there won't be much idea about that. Okay. We'll be having some brief idea about that, okay? So take your notebook and pen with you all, okay? You think that this is important and this is important for me actually, okay? Please jot down that points, okay? Why? Because when you will be solving numericals of this particular chapter, at that particular time, this notes will be helpful for you, okay? Just anyone can say me whether your Google Classroom is made or not. Do we have a Google Classroom? Yes, okay. So what I'll do, I'll make a one more quizzes part and that I'll assign you on Google Classrooms. Okay. So it will be better for us. Okay. Come on, let's start with the session. Yes. Okay. The first question in front of us. 
come on great the two types of currents are ac dc ultra acha come on now uh, this was a very easy question okay but there is something more which i require okay yes 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 great i guess all might have got the right answer okay all should get a right answer okay let's check the leader world who's first wow great ishan chuba mehmani sarthak okay now the two types of current are okay the this is your ac dc okay see this was oblique right okay this was your alternating current this was your direct current right so basically all are nothing but what all are nothing but your two types of current only basically this students are also current because it, what they thought was ac plus dc idly it's what it's a oblique so first case always remember never just choose the option by seeing the first option okay do you think that first option is correct please go through second third and fourth am i clear with this part everyone yes uh, who is this yes sarthak okay right so this 18 kids you are correct no problem jar is should have been ac plus dc okay so obviously now uh, can anyone say me what is the full form of ac ac is your yeah ac is alternating current dc is your direct current say me one thing say me one thing which is a current that comes at our home which is the current that comes at our home now say me one thing why ac and why not dc why ac and why not dc come on why ac and why not dc anyone resistance is less because ac can change direction ac has less power consumption very good sanskar it is transmittable in long distance uh, joshua okay because the current is connected to many device can travel long distance easily okay yeah now one thing which uh, i guess sarthak told me uh, yeah sanskar told me that ac has less power consumption why less loss of energy why because ac reverses its direction is that the only part or ha huh, it can be transmitted rishab i can agree i agree with that part okay but uh, right now i'm talking about the consumption part okay why do we use ac at our home and not the dc okay fine okay now this is a cycle of ac okay okay it is a of a sign i guess this is shining okay i'll just draw over here can you see this is a ac cycle okay at the same time if you see dc this is your dc cycle basically we always have a time over this part okay i uh, sorry i mean uh, at this case okay it will be time at this case okay and the remaining will be the you can say your uh, current or voltage here it will be your current or voltage over here okay now 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 okay so this is a ac part in which it is going in a positive direction as well as a negative direction but this is a dc okay this is a dc which has a constant supply which has a constant supply now obviously if there is a constant supply means more power is coming if power is more the consumption will be more you have charged your mobile phone you might have seen a ac compressor you might have seen a tv you might have seen a home theater all the devices which works on electricity gets heated up that is what the formula which we saw that is of joules heating effect yes or no okay now in this case now in this case if power consumption is more the bill will be more the electricity bill will be more 
राइट एंड नन ऑफ अस विल थिंक दैट कि सर मुझे इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल ज्यादा आना चाहिए राइट सो दैट इज द रीजन वी ऑलवेज यूज एसी बिकॉज द पावर विच इज गिवन बाई दिस साइकिल इज द रिक्वायर्ड पावर गिव नीडेड फॉर ऑल दिस डिवाइसेज एम आई क्लियर दिस पार्ट एट द सेम टाइम द पावर विच इज यूज गिवन बाय द डीसी इज यूजफुल फॉर ऑल द डिवाइसेज विच आर इन द फैक्ट्रीज द बिगर बिगर मशीन राइट द ऑटोमेटिक कन्वेयर बेल्ट एंड ऑल राइट दैट ऑल रिक्वायर द मोर पावर हेन्स इन फैक्ट्रीज डीसी इज यूज वेर एवर इन होम अप्लायसेज वी यूज द एसी ओके जोश वाइस इन द इलेक्ट्रॉन डोंट गू इन एसी करंट दे जस्ट ट्रांसफर द एनर्जी एडजस्टेंट इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड द करंट इज ट्रांसमिटेड ये जोश वाइ यू आर करेक्ट ओके द एनर्जी इज ट्रांसमिटेड बिकॉज सी अज्यूम यू आर इलेक्ट्रॉन राइट यू गॉट अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज ओके यू कैम इन टू नेगेटिव डिरेक्शन basically they just vibrate at the same place and what is transferred is nothing but the energy yes ac voltage can be easily changed right yes acha how can a dc can be can dc be converted into ac anyone acha i'll reverse the question can ac be converted into a dc how aryan how ishan can ac be converted into a dc part yes inverter only inverter joshua okay on and sanskar split rings to split rings and generator a generator provides ac beta okay ac can be converted into dc with the help of a device called as an rectifier with the help of a device called as an rectifier this you will study in a chapter called as semiconductor in your 12th standard how and when and what is the process for that okay that you will study okay rectifiers correct using rectifiers very good okay you will st study rectifiers in deep in your 11th standard okay i guess the first question is clear no more doubts let's see the next question okay the next question in front of us again a light bulb is an example of okay see there are 49 kids i want these are some see starting some questions will be a very easy question i want all of us to at least mark the question okay yes great atharva has jumped up very good atharva sarthak yes it is current resistor and the battery see i can understand current and resistor but how bulb can act as a battery yes how can a bulb act as an battery right bulb cannot act as a battery because it is using the power it is not giving that power right so first of all this battery should not be the answer okay second see bulb is what it's made up of a tungsten right and which provides a high resistance because of which it glows right so basically it is acting as what it is acting as a resistor okay now here we saw one type of a method called as an elimination method which method elimination method whenever you give any of the entrance exams okay whenever you give any of the entrance exam okay see one thing is very clear okay one thing is very clear that out of four questions in jwe mains need and cet examinations as of now okay in all these three basic exams you have always one answer correct okay in advance you might have multiple answers correct but in all these three basic exams you have only one answer correct means we know that the three options are wrong options now in this case i know that it the battery won't be answer hence the battery option has been eliminated then i got 50 50 ka probability correct now so elimination method is a method in which you will remove or eliminate the wrong options so that the probability of getting the right answer increases am i clear with this elimination method everyone any doubt in this yes 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 no doubts pakka everyone i am just getting answer from four five kids where are all others aisa mat so darshan sir ko chalega nahi chalega beta yes sarda goshi students from ambarnath kalyan kadakpada thane panvel 
मीरा रोड वसई नो डाउट्स वेरी गुड ओके लेट्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे हाँ कमाल लगे ना इजी क्वेश्चन आई वांट ऑल फोर्टी नाइन किड्स टू आंसर Yes, all forty-nine kids to answer. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Almost forty, I guess. Maximum should be right. Let's see who's on the leader. Who's going up? Good. Krishu has come up. Okay, okay, okay. And that is obvious. Who is this guy? Come on, light. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, Battery, conductor, parallel circuit, flashlight. Come on again. Now expected answer. I guess maximum of should give a right answer in this case. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I can see almost forty three. Come on, we should go till forty five. अरे हाँ very good. Now forty six. चार बच्चे कौन हैं भाई? Rohan. Okay, I'll see remaining three in the next question. Okay. On competition, I I go like competition. Very good, Soumya. Good from Kadakpada. Yes, battery thirty seven, conductor parallel. Okay, a device that converts. See a device when we are saying about a device, when there is it is some specific about it. There will be some specific name, right? Conductor is not a specific name, right? Right. So conductor won't be answer. Parallel circuit and flashlight. See it converts chemical energy into electrical energy. In case of uh, flashlight, it is a light energy, right? So output is in the form of a light, right? Though it is an electric, but the output is seen in form of seen or filled in the form of what? And a light, what, right? So it won't be answer. And parallel circuit, I don't think parallel circuit may कुछ conversion होता है यार come on. It's a passing of a voltage and current and all, right? So it won't be an answer. Okay. Let's see the next question. Yeah. Now these are some numericals which in front of us are there. So we need to solve this all numericals. Okay. Turbi, Laiba, Lalit, Manas, Nihita, Om, Om, Shenegar, Om, Kanere. Who's this? Redmi. Please rename yourself, Raman Patil. Okay, yes, I guess now students should get started with some numericals part, right? Let's see who's going up on the rank one. Soumya has been going on to fourth. Sarthak Manas and Niyar came to first, right? Now from this there will be a problem starting for us because now the numericals has started. Once the numerical has started, sir, which are the formulas which will be helpful for us? All the formulas which we saw in the last or in the starting half an hour, okay? That are the formulas which we will be seeing. Okay. Now, what is the question, sir? A current of one point five amperes, right? A current of one point five amperes drawn by an electric bulb for ten minutes. Then the amount of electric charge is okay. First of all, what is this part given? This part is nothing but your current, right? So I can say that current is nothing your one point five amperes. Okay. Electric bulb for how many minutes? The time is nothing but ten minutes. Okay, it is nothing but your ten minutes. Yes or no? Okay, is minute a SI unit for a time? What do you think all? What you all think? What you all think? No, no, no. Yes, it's seconds. One minute is sixty seconds, right? Yes or no? Correct, na? Right. So ten minutes means how many? Right. It is ten into sixty. Ishan, how come it is six thirty six hundred? It's ten into sixty, right? That is your six hundred seconds. Okay. Ah, uh, now come on, student. They are asking for what? 
the amount of electric charge. Electric charge means they are asking for Q. And what is the formula of Q? A basic formula of Q that is Q is equal to I into T. Q is equal to I into T. What is your I? I is your 1.5 into 600. Correct. Right. Now, now, now. This is a shortcut trick which I'm giving you all. Okay. Please try to understand how we need to do the calculations in your entrance part. No one will ever multiply this. Huh? 600 into 1.5, 0, 0, 6 into 1. No, please. Okay. That is not the thing which we need to do as of now. Okay. See, now what they are saying. 600 into 1.5 matlab sir 600 ka 1.5 times acha same one thing 600 ka 0.5 kitna hoga come on in chat box 600 ka 0.5 kitna hoga 300 hoga barabar na acha abhi 1.5 ko main as a 1 and 0.5 likh sakta hu 1 matlab 600 hi hai 0.5 matlab kitna 300 so what is 600 plus 300 it is 900 so your option is option c yes 300 plus 600 and that is your 900. So your option C. No one will solve. Huh? See, once you start calculating, na, chota sabi error hai na, so there will be a problem. What will be a problem is that ki again you need to solve all the things. So you should be very, very much good with the logical calculations. This will definitely help you for your exams of 10th standard, for your foundations. Definitely it will be helping you for your 11th standard and 12th standard. It will be helping you for your degree colleges, post-graduation and in your, in your life also. Am I clear with this part? Yes. 150 into, Ishan is saying, sir, can you repeat? I have some network issue. Okay. Uh, Ishan is saying 150 into 6. Ah, uh, you can do 150 into 6. Not a problem. Why? Because 1.5 into 600. That is, it's basically 6 into 100. So 1.5 into 100 is 150 into 6. You can do that, Ishan. No problem. Yeah, Kushi. I was saying about the part that the, what is given? A current is given of 1.5 amperes is drawn into what? An electric bulb for 10 minutes, right? So time is 10 minutes, okay? Then the amount of the electric charges, right? Means what they're asking us, they're asking the value of Q. So we know this is a basic formula, Q is equal to IT, okay? So I is your 1.5 amperes, but they have given time in T, that is 10 minutes. So one minute is what? One minute is nothing but your 60 seconds. So 10 minutes will be, it will be 600 seconds, right? So basically 600 into 1.5 is nothing but your what it is your 900 so now so that is the option you will get the option c yes clear yes Sartak, you can go like 15 into 6 is 90 okay 90 into 10 is again 900 n number of options okay see whenever you go for your board examination there is a structured pattern right uh, like say a diagram then a derivation, then a theory and all and all and what not, right? But whenever you solve entrance, see, whenever two friends are solving entrance, right? There might be a possibility both have a same method or there might be a possibility that both have a different methods. Both the cases are allowed. Why? Because in, in this exams, no one is seeing your methods. All the people will be seeing what? Your options. Am I clear with this part? Any doubts in this case? I hope this question is clear to all. Kushi. Yes, I'm waiting for your answers. Yeah. Clear? Everyone clear with this solution? No doubts? Pakka? Hey, come on, yaar, kya? Sunday morning, yaar, aisa, Diwali ka time and we are like just attending the session. Okay. Chalo, badia. Okay, let's move towards the next question. Yes, 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 yes. So no doubts, no doubts. Pakka, okay. Next question in front of us. Okay, now this will be a calculative question. Okay, what is the question in front of us? A charge of 500 coulomb flows through a bulb for 5 minutes and the amount of current flowing through the circuit is, okay. Amount of current flowing through the circuit is how much? Yes, yes, take your time, please. Don't get anxious, okay? Okay, one point six recurring, yeah. Kya baat hai? Kya baat hai? Manas, Sartak, Krishu, Tagada competition. 
Yes, it is 1.6 amperes, right? Who are these 10 kids? Again, 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 again. There is some mistake which we all have might done, right? Okay. Now you can see it is uh, 1.6, 10, and 520 amperes. Okay. Let's try to solve. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Because see, out of 50 kids, 35 attempted. I mean, 15 kids were not coming. Yeah, they were not. They were trying. Yeah, they were not. Confidence will be less. 15 plus this 10, this 2 and this 2, that is uh, 15 plus 16, that is almost half of the class have some doubts. Okay. Or basically it is 50 minus 21, that is again you can say uh, 29 students have some doubts. Okay. Let's see. Subse mele, okay. What they are saying, a charge of 500 coulomb. Okay. A charge of 500 coulomb. Means what is the value of Q? Q is your 500. Q is your 500 coulomb, right? Flows through a bulb for again 5 minutes means time is given. 5 minutes, 60 into 5 is how much? It is 300. It is your 300 part, right? So, what is I? I is basically charge flowing per unit time. That is 500 upon. What is 5 by 3? It is basically your 1.6, right? So this should be your answer. Okay. Now, if you have to taken over here five only, right? It's five minutes. So in that case, you might have got the got the answer as a five hundred upon five. That is your hundred. So what we think that sir hundred है ना sir hundred तो option में है तो उसके अलावा कौन सा option है sir ten. तो ये mark करते बच्चे. And that is the purposely I have put this option as a ten amperes. Am I clear with this part? Any doubts in this? How to solve the question? Is this clear, everyone? Yeah, put in the chat box so that I can understand. Jaldi. Yes. Okay, not, let's not waste the time because uh, these are some easy questions. Okay. Next question again. Solve the same intensity. Don't get afraid. Don't get worried. Wrong. Aega. No issue. Nahi hai usme. Take your time. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Heat is what this was a question of a heat. Okay. Let's see how many of you are getting correct. Who's going up? Aryan, Rishab, Nihar. What a great bar. Yes, uh, again, 20 kids have got the answer. That is 15,000 joules. Okay. Yeah. So four, seven, and one, and then the eighteen kids. Okay, okay, okay. So what they are asking is that if the resistance is twenty ohm, means this is the value of R. So R is twenty ohms. Okay, it takes a current as five ampere. So what is your value of I? I is your five amperes. Okay, right. So current is your 5 ampere. Okay, current is your 5 ampere. Clear? Okay. And they are saying then the time heat developed in 30 seconds means time is 30 seconds. Now, first of all, do you remember any formula of a heat? Okay. In terms of R, I, and T. Anyone? Yes, yes, yes. What is your heat? Heat is nothing but, sir, it is I square R T. What is heat? It is I square R T. Correct? Yes or no? Okay. So, directly I square is 25 into R is 20 into T is 30. Now, again, don't multiply. See, this 0 and this 0 will make a 100. Yes. This 3 into 2 is 6. 25 into 6 is what? 25 into 6 is 150 into 100. That is your 150,000. Am I clear? 15,000 has any option? Yes. We got this option. Correct. 
Am I clear with the calculation part? Yes. Okay. Now, 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 remember one thing. All the questions which are there today, okay, can be solved by all the formulas or any of the formulas given or we, which we saw in the starting half an hour. Uske bahar ka kuch bhi nahi hai aur exam mein bhi nahi hai. Okay. Jo aega wo isme se hi aega. Okay. The first important thing is to remember or memorize all the formulas with a logic. Okay. Like there is a one basic formula. Sir, you have read I square RT. Hi padh liya. You got two options. Either sub formulas ko bahar karte baato. Ya to logically I ka value V by R dalo. You will get one answer. R ka value V by I dalo. You will get another answer. Am I clear with this part everyone? Any doubts in this? Yes, yes, yes. Joshua, no. Vaishnavi saying sir. Yes sir. Clear. Okay, come on, other all. Are you all with me? Are you all in the session? I am unable to see as you are not replying anything. Yes. Tomya saying yes, yes, yes. Okay, Tanvi, Shubham, Sharayu, Raman. No messages from your side. Om. Okay. Chalo, great. Let's move towards the next part. Okay. Let's move towards the next part. The next question in front of us again. Good Tanish Nihar. Okay. Now, this is a somewhat a question which uh, many of us like forgets, right? Tanish, it will take some time, okay? Okay, okay, time is up, time is up, time is up. Okay, let's see how many of us are with me. Kya baat hai? Okay, yes, who's that? Who's that? Krishu, Nihar and Simon is going up. Kya baat hai? Great. Now, this was something which I was expecting, okay, that uh, ideally a bit complicated some, okay. Why complicated? Because, sir, isme to bahut sara cheeze diya hai, sir. Kaise solve kare, sir, okay. So let's see this question. Okay. Yeah. I guess now this is visible. Yes, yes, yes. Dikra na sapna. Kya baat hai. Kushi Singh 135. Okay. Yeah. Badia. Okay. Fine. Okay. An electric iron box rated 750 watt. Okay. Operated. 2 hours per day, cost of unit is 3 per kilowatt hour, then the cost of energy used to operate electric iron box for 30 days is, okay, fine. Chalo, badi hai. let's see, uh, let's try, okay. See, there is a one electric iron box which is rated 750 watts, okay, okay, is operated for 2 hours a day, is operated for 2 hours a day. But the one hour may see power is always watts per hour, right? So one hour may 750 agar, so two hours may get okay. So per day, okay, per day, the power is how much the power consumed per day is nothing but 750 into two. Now, this is your 1500, okay. This is but watts now. We always require kilowatts, right? Kilo means it should be in 10 raised to 3. Can I write this 1500 as 1.5 into 10 raise to 3 watts? Yes or no? 1.5 into 10 raise to 3 watts. Yes or no? Are you going Yes, 1.5 into 3 watts. Okay. Why into 10 raise to 3, sir? Because I want to write this in kilowatts. Na? Okay. Now, this is nothing but a power which I am using for a one day. Similarly, how many days I need to use this part? I need to use this part for 30 days. Means into 30 means total power will be what? 30 into 1.5. Again, same logic. 30 ka half kitna hota hai? 30 ka half kitna hota hai? What is 0.5 of 30? It is 15. Yes or no? Very good. It is 15. So 15 plus 30 is what? It is your 45. So total power consumed is 45 units, right? In our case also, when the bill comes, right? It is given, given that the consumed units, 89 units, 99, 105, 150 units, right? Similarly, we have consumed 45 units. 
ओके वी हैव कंज्यूम्ड फोर्टी फाइव यूनिट राइट नाउ सर एक यूनिट का कितना पैसा है सो कॉस्ट ऑफ पर यूनिट इज थ्री पर किलो वेट आर दैट इज द रीजन आई कन्वर्टेड इन टू किलो वेट आर राइट नाउ वी हैव यूज ओनली वन यूनिट नो वी हैव यूज फोर्टी फाइव यूनिट सो फोर्टी फाइव इन टू थ्री विल बी हाउ मच इट विल बी योर वन थर्टी फाइव एंड दैट विल बी योर ऑप्शन सी एंड दैट विल बी योर ऑप्शन सी एम आई क्लियर विद दिस पार्ट Yes, yes, yes. How to solve? If you are unable to understand, please let me know. If you are able to understand, then so let me know. Okay. Yes, out of sixty, Joshua is saying yes. Where are all others? Yes, yes, sir. Himani is saying yes. Sharayu is saying yes. Khushi is saying yes. Om. Okay, Tanish, I'll just let you the calculation part. Okay. See, basically. And whenever such type of questions comes into the picture, okay, whenever any of the time, okay, what is the thing which you need to do is nothing but what basically they are finding, they are finding the heat required. Okay, we know that what is heat? Heat is your power into time. What is heat? It is your power. I'll just write bit below. Heat is your power into time. Am I correct? Okay. What is the total power which you consume? Total power is what? Seven fifty watt was for one hour. Similarly, you are using it for two hours a day. For how many days, sir? For thirty days. Total power consumed. How much did you consume? Day, two hours. According to that, it was into two. So that is your fifteen hundred watts, right? That is your one point five kilowatts. This was for one day. Similarly, thirty days. How much will it be? Into thirty will be. That is your forty. Uh, 1.5 to 30 that is your 45 kilowatts are बराबर है so what they are saying that for one unit if government is if say government is asking for three rupees तो sir इसके लिए कितना होगा that will be your 45 into three that is your 135 am I clear with this part Tanish I hope this calculation is clear to you yes 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 I hope this is clear, everyone. No more doubts in this question. Anyone, please. Samjha to bol lo, Baba. Ha, sir, samjha hamko. Chalo, come on. Yes, okay. I am a bit a faculty or a teacher, like which requires communication. Okay, right. To hi maza aata na. Okay. So let's see the next question. Okay. So I guess one that is clear for all these kids, eleven plus five plus two plus remaining kids. Okay. Let's see the next question for the day. Okay, now this is something different, sir. Now this is something different. Okay, and so much the time. Okay, and hence the time. थोड़ा दिमाग लगाओ. Okay, try to solve the question with a bit uh, tricks. है तो basic Ohm's formula और Ohm's law. Clear, sir. समझा. Very good, रही थी या. Yes, please take your time. Yes, yes, yes. I can see we are getting some answers, but maximum of are still confused, right? Thirty three kids have answer. I guess ah uh, two minutes are okay, right? So more say twelve seconds. Okay, twenty seconds. Come on. The current going to the forty five ohm register is. Wow, I am getting answers from Ria, Kushi, 
कौस्तुप ओके वॉट इज द आंसर ओके ओके लेट सी लेट सी लेट सी लेट सी आई गेस लास्ट फाइव मिनट सॉरी लास्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स पक्का लास्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स ओके विल जस्ट हैव अ एंड विल जस्ट एंड दिस क्वेश्चन ओके कम ऑन लेट सी नाउ हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस आर गेटिंग अ राइट आंसर वो क्या बात है Yes, Krishu, Aryan, Rishyab, and Om. Very good. A uh, point two and almost almost all have got the answer right as a point two. Okay. Now, what's the question? Let's see what's the question. Okay. The question is somewhat over here in front of us. Okay. Sir, the current go going through the forty five ohm resistor is. Ah, uh, let's let's say like forty five ohm resistor is this part. ओके फोर्टी फाइव ओम रजिस्टर इज दिस पार्ट ओके फोर्टी फाइव ओम रजिस्टर इज दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ओके नाउ ऑल दिस थ्री रजिस्टर्स आर इन सीरीज और पैरेलल व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑल दिस थ्री रजिस्टर्स आर इन सीरीज और पैरेलल इन पैरेलल व्हाट रिमेन सेम इन पैरेलल व्हाट रिमेन सेम करंट आहा इन पैरल वोल्टेज रिमेन सेम मीन दिस नाइन वोल्ट इज नथिंग बट द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस पार्ट दैट इज दिस यस और नो व्हाट आई नीड इज नथिंग बट वॉट द करंट गोइंग टू दिस वी नो वॉट सर वी इज इक्वल टू आई आर सो व्हाट इज आई आई इज नथिंग बट बेसिकली वी बाय आर व्हाट इज वी वी इज योर नाइन And what is R? R is the nothing but forty-five. So nine ones are nine, five is a right. A one by five is nothing but what? It is your point. Am I clear with this part? Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now let us revise some concepts of series and parallel. Okay. Now this will be a more interactive session. Okay. Come on. Now what remains same in series? What remains same in series? Current? Why current? Anyone? Why current? Yes. Why current? Ha? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, current, current. Sarta is saying, sir, there is no division which takes place. Hence, current remains same. Okay. And why voltage changes then? Yes, current. Agreed, agreed. No division of part. Then why voltage changes? Because the current flows through the resistor. Okay, yeah, great. Then why voltage change? Means how I can understand, sir? Voltage divide हो रहा है वहाँ पे. Yes, very good, Joshua. Very good. Okay. Assume there are three resistors. Okay, there are three resistors. Okay, and there is some battery which is connected. Okay, and there is some battery which is connected. Okay. So this is of one ohm. This is of two ohm and this is of three ohm, right? And say so this battery is of say somewhat around ah uh, three plus two plus one six. Okay, yeah, it will be very easy. So what is the total current? Current is total voltage upon resistance. Current is total voltage upon resistance. Total voltage is six. How much is the resistance? Resistance is again six. So can I say current is nothing but what it is? Your one ampere. Obviously, current will be same as there is no division. Okay, so current is how much? Current is one ampere. So means the voltage across one ohm resistance will be how much? I into R, na? I is one and R is one means the voltage will be one volt over here. Okay. Voltage across two ohm will be how much? It is again I into R. What is current? Current is same one and what is R? It is two, so it becomes two volt. And similarly, this three ohms will have how much voltage? It will be having three volts. Can you see voltage is different for different resistors? Yes or no? Can you see voltage is different for Different resistor, yes or no? Yes, that is the reason voltage divides in circuit, in series circuit. Voltage divides in series circuit, whereas current remains same. Whereas current remains same. Am I clear with this part? Any doubts in this? 
अरे वेरा और अदर किड्स तुम शांत हो गए अचानक से ऐसा यू ब्रेकफास्ट टाइम अभी नहीं ना हाँ वी हैव स्टिल सम फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी मिनट लेफ्ट राइट ओके ग्रेट लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अगेन कॉन यस नो डाउट वेरी गुड What is the total resistance? Ah, ha. Now this is somewhat easy part, right? Come on, I want more fifty. All the fifty students will answer this question. Come on. Okay. The timer is more. It will not be. It will be only till eight hundred. Eighty-two seconds are left now. Okay, eighty-two seconds are left. Yes, yes, yes. Seventy-five seconds. I guess that is also more. I suppose. Come on, come on, come on! Jaldi, jaldi! Yes, no doubts. Very good. ओके ओके यस तनिश विल बी कमिंग टू वर्ड पैरल पार्ट ओके राइट नाउ इट इज अ सीरियस पार्ट विल बी कमिंग एट अ पैरल पार्ट एट दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम विल हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन दैट ओके क्या बात है ओम को आंसर आ गया ओम शेनेकर वेरी गुड ओम ओके इट्स वाई किलो वेट आर शेनेकर इट शुड बी किलो ओम ना ओ इट्स लेस देन एट हंड्रेड राइट So we need to end this part. Yes, and let's see now. This was an easy question. I suppose everyone should get a right answer. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Who's going up? Only. चलो एक बच्चा आया अपना. अरे बेटा इतना easy question में भी अपनों को गाले कौन है three ohm ten and thirteen. The question was very easy, right? What was the question? What is the total resistance across this circuit? Okay, what is the total resistance across this circuit? Always remember, whenever you are told to find the resistance, okay, जहाँ जहाँ battery होगा ना बेटा, जहाँ जहाँ battery होगा ना, उस battery को replace करने का बाय normal wire. Until and unless the internal resistance of a battery is not given. अगर internal resistance दिया है, तो जो भी resistance देगा, उससे replace करना. For example, this was a battery of nine volts, right? दिख रहा है सबको ये आर एल एबल टू सी दिस पार्ट या दिस इज अ बैटरी ऑफ नाइन वोल्ट या दिस इज अ बैटरी ऑफ नाइन वोल्ट रिप्लेस दिस नाइन वोल्ट का बैटरी बेटा नॉर्मल पार्ट बच्चा कंफ्यूज हो जाता है सोचता है सर थ्री होगा या तो टेन होगा या तो फाइव होगा इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट इज वन ऑफ दिस इट इज वन ऑफ दिस वन ऑफ दिस मतलब कैसा एडिशन ऑफ ऑल दिस ना सीरीज में ना थ्री इज इन सीरीज विथ टेन टेन इज इन सीरीज विथ फाइव सो बेसिकली थ्री प्लस टेन प्लस फाइव कितना होता है यस थ्री प्लस टेन प्लस फाइव इज नथिंग बट यूर एटीन एंड दैट इज द रीजन ऑप्शन एटीन की तरह डी ऑप्शन शुड बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एवरी वन लेट्स मूव टू वर्ड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड चलो ग्रेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस अगेन यस कमॉन 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 The voltage drop across the three hundred ohm resistance again the same concept. Chalo, jaldi. I want the right answer from you all. The timer will be till two hundred. Hundred seconds are sufficient for solving such type of questions. Idle is idle time is twenty seconds. Yes, 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 yes. I guess we should end it. Yes or no? 
यस सर यस सर ओके लेट्स एंडेड ओके लास्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स जल्दी चलो जल्दी कमॉन 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 यस लेट्स एंड द क्वेश्चन नाउ ओके सो अगेन द लीडर बोर्ड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट एंड मानस है सेक्यूर्ड फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कृषि आ रहा है ओके स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉम्पिटिशन वेरी गुड बापरे बाप ये वॉट इज दिस ओनली इलेवन स्टूडेंट द राइट आंसर ओके लेट सी वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन देन ओके द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस थ्री हंड्रेड ओम रजिस्टर इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस थ्री हंड्रेड ओम रजिस्टर इज ओके लेट्स चेक लेट सी वॉट इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके लेट सी वॉट इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके शर यू सिंग यस सर ओके गुड फाइन सो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप एक्रॉस थ्री हंड्रेड ओम सेकेंड राइट Yes, I guess this is visible, right? Yeah, we will solve over here then. Okay, the voltage drop across three hundred resistance. See, I know that total resistance is what? Total resistance is three hundred plus hundred, four hundred plus fifty. That is four fifty. So, what will be the total current? Total current is V upon R. So, what is my V? V is my nine upon four fifty, right? So basically, nine by forty-five was one by five, so it will be one by fifty, right? So one by fifty is what? It is zero point zero two. Now, how many of you didn't understood that one by fifty is zero point zero two? Please message in the chat box. Sir, I didn't. I, I didn't got. I didn't got. One upon fifty is zero point zero two. How many of you didn't got that part? No one. Everyone got that part. Yeah. Okay. Now. 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 Don't get panic. Okay, never ever go in a panic mode in at any of the point in your life. Okay, now see, it was nine by four, nine by four fifty. Can I write this part as nine upon forty five into ten? Yes. Always break the things, right? See, bigger bigger problems have a solutions, right? Just break these bigger problems with a small 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 section. Find the solution of that small 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 section. Combine that solution, you will get a bigger problem solved. Okay. Similarly, similarly, okay. Nine upon forty-five. We know it's nine ones are it's nine five are forty-five. Yes. Just now we saw that one upon five is point two. So this is this will be what point two upon ten. Now this is a ten raised to one over here. So it will be what it will be point two into ten raised to minus one at the upper part. Yes. That is what it is zero point zero two. If someone says me now, sir, if someone says me, sir, should I keep this like this only? I'll say yes. Someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. Someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. If someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. If someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. If someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. If someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. If someone says me, sir, may I keep this like this? I'll say yes. If someone says me, sir, may I Yes, is there any doubt till this point? If doubt है तो yes बोलो नहीं है तो no बोलो चलो in chat box. If there is a doubt say yes. If there is no doubt say no. पक्का okay great. Now we got current. What is current? Current is nothing but your two into ten is two minus two. Two into ten is two minus two. Okay. Now I want this as three hundred ohm. So voltage is I into R, right? So three hundred into two into ten is two minus two. Correct. So this ten is two minus two, and this gets cancelled out. Answer will be your what? It will be your six volts. Am I clear with this part? Any problem in this? Clear? So yes, no. Kuch problem hai? To no. Is this clear? Yes, yes, Joshua, Ria, very good, Vaishnavi, Sanskar. Okay, yes, Vaishnavi saying yes, sir, clear, exam. Last part again, ohm. Okay, this is current which I got right. That is two into ten is two minus three. What they have asked? They have asked the voltage drop across three hundred ohm resistors. The voltage drop again against the three hundred ohm resistor means this one resistor. So voltage is what basically I into R, right? So this is your I, 
and this is your R. Resistance is 300. Current is 2 into 10 is 2 minus 2. So 300 into 2 is 600. 600 into 10 is 2 minus 2 is again 6 only. Na? So basically 10 is 2 minus 3 is what? It is 1 upon 100. Na? Okay, so this 1 upon 100 means what? 300 upon 100. That is nothing but 3. Na? 3 into 2 is your 6. I guess, I guess uh, Om, your doubt is clear. But yeah. No more doubts in this particular case, everyone. Are you all with me, everyone? Yes, we have an amazing session of MSM, sir, right? You, you got math session after this, right? And then I guess chemistry session. Right? You need to have conserve more energy. Okay, great. Come on, let's move towards the next question. Okay, next question in front of us. Yes, the total current through the circuit is. Aha. Just now we found out the total current, right? Yes, we got options also, right? I'll come on. Now this was a question which we solved, right? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Very easy question. Why we are taking so much time? Yes, just 20 seconds now. I won't give much time. Same question, same answer. Yes, yes, very good, Ishan. Very good. Yes, any more? Anyone else who got who has already opted for the answer? Yes. Okay. Yeah, very clear. Okay, let's disable the timer and end this question. And now I guess this should be a correct answer or maximum. Those students who want to go from bottom part to the upper part. Okay. Leaderboard is of yours, all of all yours. Okay. Yes, Sarthak Nihar has taken the advantage of this question. Okay. And again, uh, the answer was very clear. Now, still, see, still, there are some of my students, okay, who have opted for a wrong answer. Okay. See, always remember in your life, okay, these are the sayings which I always give, which I always give to my students. Okay. See, observation is a very important skill. Okay. If you are a good observer, mark my words. You will excel in your life at each and every point. Okay. If you don't learn anything, it's okay for that particular instant. But if you don't observe anything at that particular instant, it's not okay. Okay. So please observe the things. See, this was the same question which we did in the last, right? In that, we already found out the value of current. Now, those students who are a good observer, see, I'm not saying about the attention. We all pay attention in the lectures, right? But if you are a good observer, mark my words, you will always see that it is always advantageous for us. Those students who paid attention and were a good observer, they might have think that, ah, sir, current ka value to nikala hua hai. Second important thing is presence of mind. Okay, so the second important thing is presence of mind. Wherever you are, you should be totally focusing and dedicated towards that particular surrounding. If you are in a classroom, behave like a student. If you are at a home, behave like a child. Okay. But that presence of mind should be there. Am I clear with these two things? Yes, everyone. No more doubts in this. Joshua, I didn't understand what you are saying. Okay. Yes, clear, sir. Clear, clear, clear. Yes, very important things. All these things are never taught in the classrooms. Okay. These are the things which comes through experience. And let's move towards the next question. Come on, come on. Okay, Joshua. Why it is a serious circuit? Can anyone say? Yes, yes, yes. It's a serious circuit. Same current throughout. Okay. Let's disable the timer and end the question over here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I obviously it is a series because same current flows through all the three bulbs, right? Good. Atharva and Aroy, I guess they are taking the advantage, right? Yes. The same current flows through all the three light bulbs, right? 
the electrical current is divided between three bulbs. How can the current divide? Because there is no path. No? There is no path for the division. Obviously, the same current has to flow through the each and every, every bulb. Okay. Let's move towards the next question. Let us select some questions. Okay, come on. Next question. Yes. Next question in front of us. Yes, Kartak, Simon, Om. Very good. Yes, a uh, charging system producing uh, 4.5 volts of current flow through 45 amps. And what is the circuit resistance? I guess uh, this should be a straightforward answer. Yes. Come on, yeah. come on. A straightforward answer, right? Okay, the unit in the option is wrong. Let's see, let's see, let's see. No worries. Let's see. Okay, Nihar has come up. Okay, good. We should not be jaga banai rakhi, okay? Fine. Okay, the current, uh, yeah, okay. The resistance, yeah, see, the, it's about the resistance. So, options are, um, I mean, there is an error. Like, it should be a ohms, right? Instead of ampere, that's okay. The number should be the same, okay? Now, it's 14.5 volts, okay? And the current flowing is uh, 43.5, right? I guess uh, it's division. Okay. What is the circuit resistance? We know that what is R? R is your V by I. What is voltage? Voltage is 14.5, right? And what is your current? Current is 43.5. I know this is 1 by 3. What is 1 by 3? Anyone? Right? It is a recurring number. That is 0 0.33 amperes. Very good, Kushi. Okay. Yes, the only these amps were wrong. That's okay. Okay. But the number is correct. That is your option B. Am I clear with this part, everyone? Any doubts in this? Yeah, you can put in chat box. If any doubts. If not, then we'll move forward towards the next question. Now, this is somewhat like again a parallel combination questions. Okay. Now, this is something which is interesting. Okay. Resistance decreases, voltage increases, nothing changes. Well, a more branches are added to a parallel circuit. What do you think? Resistance increases, sorry. Ah, resistance decreases, voltage increases or nothing changes. Yes. What do you think about this? Yeah. 17 seconds. I want more five kids to answer the question. Out of 50, I want more five kids to answer the question. Yes, last two seconds. One and zero. Okay, let's see who's on the leaderboard. Come on, come on, come on. Great manners, Om. Nihar, Aryan, and Krishi. Okay. 18 students are saying resistance decreases. 11 are saying voltage increases. And 11 are saying nothing changes. How is that possible? There sh should be some change. So, how did you directly divide the numbers in the previous question? Uh, Joshua, just let me complete this question. I'll answer the question. Okay. Don't worry. Yes, Kushi, very good. Resistance decreases. Okay. Now, we saw about the series part, right? Whenever, how can you say that whenever they are in series, whenever the same amount of current is flowing in the series, right? And by the way, basically, what is the value of resistance in that case? The net resistance is given by the addition of values of resistor, right? That is R1 plus R2. Means in series, resistance increases. In series, resistance increases. Yes or no? So in parallel, Resistance should decrease. Correct. No? Resistance should decrease. Okay. So this was the first point. Okay. In which we can get our answer. But the question in mind comes, sir, how? So let us see some part about the parallel resistance. Okay. Let us see some part about the parallel resistance. Okay. Now, do some shortcut tricks, okay, for us to understand. Okay. Now, 
दिस इज द बैटरी ओके आजूम देर आर टू रजिस्टर ऑफ वैल्यूज से कनेक्टेड थ्री ओम एंड थ्री ओम ओके एंड देन दिस इज अ बैटरी ऑफ से समवर्ड अराउंड सिक्स वोल्ट बैटरी ऑफ सिक्स वोल्ट क्लियर विद दिस पार्ट ओके Now the formula which you have studied in your school is what? It is one upon R P is equal to one upon R one plus one upon R two. Correct? Yes. Then you might have done something like this. That is one upon R P is equal to R one plus R two upon R one R two. Yes or no? Yes. Ha! You can answer in the chat box. Have you all studied this particular part in your school? Yes or no? Yes. Then we reciprocate, right? We uh, do the reciprocal. That is, R P is nothing but R one, R two upon R one plus R two. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now, whenever you are solving questions of such types in entrance exam, in maximum cases. The values of registers are same. In maximum cases, the values of register are same. Am I clear with this part? Okay. Sir, if the registers values are not same, then directly you won't be doing this part and this part. Sorry. Okay. You won't be doing this part and this part. Okay. You will be directly going towards this part. That is, you will remember the formula as multiplication upon addition. Multiplication upon addition. Am I clear with this part? You will remember the formula as multiplication of two values upon addition of two values. That is your net parallel resistance. Clear? No more doubts in this case. Okay. Now let us say if the registers are of same value. If the registers are of same value. In our case, it's Three ohm and three ohm, and the voltage is six volts, and the voltage is six volts. Okay, so let us take a traditional formula, and then we'll see the shortcut trick. Okay, so R one and R two are what? Three into three, correct? Three into three upon three plus three. Three into three is nine upon three plus three is six. Yes or no? Can I say it is three two za? It is three three za, and three by two the answer is somewhat around one point five or exactly it is one point five. Yes or no? Ah uh, yeah yes na yes or no? Answer in chat box. Come on. Yes. Pakka. Good. Okay. Now, can you see clearly? Can I see this one point five is nothing but half of this three? क्या लगता है है या नहीं है? Right. अच्छा at the same time at the same time assume that there is one more resistance of three ohm again. One more resistance of three ohms again. तो मैंने दो three का तो parallel combination निकाल लिया ना one point five. अगेन मुझे क्या करना पड़ेगा और एक निकालना पड़ेगा सो इट इज थ्री इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव अपॉन थ्री प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव बराबर ना सी दोनों का तो मैंने निकाला और एक थ्री है ना अब तीन थ्री है तो व्हाट आई एम सीइंग इज दैट सी थ्री इंटू वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर पॉइंट फाइव वेर अगेन थ्री अब प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव वॉट फोर पॉइंट फाइव क्या ना सर फोर पॉइंट फाइव अपन फोर पॉइंट फाइव इज वन अब ध्यान से ना वॉट इज द लर्निंग इफ there are two branches of same value if there are two branches of same value right so mujhe divide by 2 karna to kitna mila mujhe 1.5 this was the same answer which we got if the there are three branches again of same value of resistance means kitna 3 upon 3 kitna ho gaya mila ki nahi mujhe one answer What is the shortcut over here, sir? Shortcut is this: then whenever, whenever the resistors are of same values and connected in parallel, whenever the resistors are of the 
सेम वैल्यूज एंड कनेक्टेड इन पैरल ऑलवेज डिवाइड द वैल्यू ऑफ वन रजिस्टर अपॉन नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस ऑलवेज डिवाइड वैल्यू ऑफ वन रजिस्टर एनी वन रजिस्टर वैसे भी सब सेम है ना कोई भी एक वैल्यू का रजिस्टर ले लो और उसको कितने ब्रांचेस में डिवाइड करो नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस जिसमें कनेक्टेड है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस वैल्यू ऑफ एनी वन रजिस्टर दैट इज थ्री डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस दैट इज थ्री कितना आया नेट रजिस्टेंस वन ओम यस और नो सी दंसर इज योर वन ओम सर टू ब्रांचेस के लिए करके बताओ आप राइट कैन यू सी दिस टू ब्रांचेस वैल्यू ऑफ एनी वन रजिस्टर थ्री अपन नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस टू कितना हो गया वन पॉइंट फाइव सी वन पॉइंट फाइव इज द आंसर डू वी नीड टू सॉल्व ऑल द थिंग्स क्या लगता है हर एक चीज को सॉल्व करना चाहिए नहीं ना वी गॉट शॉर्टकट फॉर दिस एंड दिस इज द शॉर्टकट एम आई क्लियर विद द शॉर्टकट एवरी वन आई वॉन्ट आंसर फ्रॉम ईच वन ऑफ यू जल्दी चलो चैट बॉक्स में समझाए तो ये नहीं समझाए तो नो कम ऑन जल्दी यस यस राइट वन स्टेटमेंट ऑन द टेरेस ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक टेरेस मीन अब द मार्जिन पार्ट मार्जिन वाला जो पार्ट है वहां पर लिखो वन एक स्टेटमेंट वेन एवर वेन एवर वेन एवर रजिस्टर्स ऑफ इक्वल वैल्यूज रजिस्टर्स ऑफ इक्वल वैल्यूज registers of equal values are connected in parallel are connected in parallel registers of equal values are connected in parallel registers of equal values are connected in parallel then the net resistance then the net resistance then the net resistance is given by then the net resistance is given by then the net resistance is given by equal to karke likho value of any one resistance value of any one resistance upon total number of branches value of any one resistance upon total number of branches clear hai i want answer from everyone is this clear no doubts in this case yes very important trick ho gaye uh 11 12th entrance mein bahut kaam aata and we'll see okay let us see the next question for the day yes चलो बढ़िया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देखते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन वन सिक्स ओके जोशुआ आई गॉट दैट यू हैव नो डाउट्स ओके कम ऑन ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन ओके आई गेस आंसर शुड बी मार्क बिल्ड फास्टर आई गेट अ बेसिक फॉर्मूला विच यू कैन सी ओवर इयर यस पावर एंड करेंट राइट एंड व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग इज फॉर वोल्टेज कम ऑन इट्स अ बेसिक फॉर्मूला आई गेस राइट लास्ट टेन सेकेंड्स कम ऑन दो इट्स सिक्सटी विल वेट टिल फिफ्टी ओनली ओके Easy question. Power, voltage, and current. The relation should be clear in your mind. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on. Okay, let's end the question over here.
Yes, who's on the leaderboard? Yes, leaderboard is a favorite part because there is competition, right? And always in a competition, best survives. Okay, great Aryan, very good. Wow, three hundred thirty twelve and zero point zero eight. Let's see, let's see how the answers are changing for different kids. Okay, so calculate the voltage applied when power power is your sixty watts. Okay, and current is of your 5 amperes, that I is your 5 amperes. Okay, and what they're asking is that is voltage. What are, we know that what is P? P is equal to V into I. P is your nothing but V into I, correct? Uh, now say voltage is in wo volts, current is in ampere. Power should be in what? Power should be in what? I mean, power should be in a, what should be the unit of a power? Power, the SI unit of power is what? It is always kilowatt hour, no? It is always what? Kilowatt hour, right? So, is your power in kilowatt? I don't see. It's in watt, no? So, those students have got this answer 300, no? They have not converted, right? It should be what? It should be uh, 0 0.6 into 10 raised to 3 watt. Basically, it is 0.6 kilowatt, right? So, V is what? V is your P by I. P is your 0.6 upon I. Current is what? It is phi, right? Okay. So, what is this uh, part? Okay. 0.6 upon phi is how much? Anyone? Come on. 0.6 upon phi is how much? What is 6 by phi? What is 6 by 5? 1.2, right? Okay, so this should be your answer in volt. Okay, this is not 12, actually, this is 1.2. Okay, that should be your answer. Am I clear with this part? Any doubts? Okay, so there was again an error. It is 1.2, not 12. Any doubts in this case? How to solve the question? Are yes, no. I'm waiting for your answers. Clear? Yeah, others. Sartak and Joshua has answered. I'm waiting for other all kids. Okay. Premila, Preksha, Pratmesh, Prajakta, Parth, Nilav, Nihar, Aryan, Manas, Ujwal, Vaishnavi, Pranav, Soumya, Toham. It should be 0 0.12. Yeah, correct. It should be 0 0.12. Very correct. It will be 0 0.12. Okay. I hope this question is clear to all. Yes, sir. Got it. Very good. Okay. Let's see the next question for the day. Okay. Okay, work, charge, come on, let's see, work of 24 joule is done in moving 4 coulomb, charge between the point of conductance and the potential, difference between 2 point is, okay. I guess this is again an uh, easy question, yes Aryan. Okay, yeah, great. Sardak Ishan has come up. Good. Almost yes. What was the formula which we chose? What was the formula that we chose? W is equal to? Yes, I'm waiting for the answer. W is equal to QV, right? And in that case, V was W by Q. W is your 24. Q is your 4. 24 upon 4 is how much? It is your 6, right? So, it was the correct answer. Okay. Let's move on to the next question again. Now the same concept will be useful for us. Okay. okay I'll give some time. Don't worry. I'll give some time. Okay. We'll take one minute time. Solve this question using the same concept which we had learned. 
इन लास्ट टू लास्ट क्वेश्चन okay i guess this is a sufficient amount of time yes or no yeah okay so we'll wait for the day wait for the means and we'll end the question over here so i guess the answer was uh, very clear right it was how much uh, can i see in the chat box what is the answer yes 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 come on come on come on yes very good yes again there are some students who have done 7 and uh, 13 and uh, 16 how is that possible right okay so it was again the combination of resistance and effective resistance across ab a is this point and b is particular this point right so you can see this acha by the way here there is a connection okay it's it is not like that it is not connected it has a connection over here okay so this six this six and this six are connected in uh, parallel right and we know that whenever the same amount of resistance are connected the net resistance is nothing but what resistance of one resistor upon total number of branches that is six upon three so the net resistance of this network is two okay and that two is in series with this three that is 2 plus 3 that is 5 ohms right and that is your option a and that is your option a am i clear with this part okay so i guess there was no worries about the answer options okay let us see one last question for the day okay chalo come on this question the last question for the day Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Last question for the day. Yes, power. Basic formula, right? Yes or no? I guess the answer should be on your fingertips. Yes, sir. The sure will take one more question. No worries. Answer should be on your fingertips. Come on, yeah. Come on. Voltage and current is given. Okay, Ishan and Acha Sarthak want one more question because he wants to come to rank one. Okay, great. Ah, see, it was very simple. Like two forty into point two five, point two five of two forty. See, two point two five means आधे का आधा, right? The half of two forty is your one twenty. One twenty का half will be sixty, and that is the reason answer should be your sixty. There will be some questions which will be required only your mind calculations. In that case, don't go in a solving methodology. On a solving mindset, okay. Let's see one more question for the day then, okay. Fine, sir. Thank. Aha. Now this was wait, 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 wait. This is somewhat a similar question, okay. So we do, don't do the uh, won't do this question. So let's see this question. oh wait this is also the same question
Yeah. Yeah. Aha, wait, wait, wait. The questions are a bit repeated over here. Yeah, you will find this question. What is the power of the circuit? Yes, the size of the resistor, the direction, the conventional current, the terminals of the battery. Yes, what is the power of the circuit? Means what basically what is the power? Yes, anyone? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, but very good, Aryan. Sardag, both. Okay. Yes, it is 12 watt. Basically, what is power? Power is V into I, right? Now, see, in this question, you can, there might be an N number of questions, okay? How? Okay, like, see, this is, uh, I guess now it, this is clear. Okay. First thing is that they can ask the value of a register. What is the value of register? So, basically, R is what? This is the voltage, right? This is the, there is only a one register, right? So, you can find the value of resistance is the first case, okay? Second, they can ask the polarity, okay? Polarity is like from positive to negative. In this case, if they add the branches, it becomes a concept of parallel resistance. If they add the resistance in series, it becomes a concept of series resistance. In series resistance, they can find the value of voltage at each of the point. In case of parallel resistance, they can find, they can ask you to find the value of current. Okay. See, basically circuit problems are the problems in which there will be one questions of combination. Second question will be of regarding the power and current and voltage. And third part is regarding the bulbs and all in which the heat and power will be calculated. Am I clear with this part? Okay. So I guess uh, the time is over, right? It's a time to move on for the second lecture. Okay. So what we'll do is that we'll end the session over here. Okay. And let's see who comes first. Okay. Please keep your mobile phones ready. Take the screenshot and you can put it in, in the post on your Instagram and tag Lakshay. Okay. Uh, this is the part, the important part, right? Third is Ishan, second is Manash, and the first is Aryan. Okay. So these are the rankers for the today's session. Okay. Now, beta Asartha go ya ki bar sunana bar bar kese. Okay. Uh, fine. So the take from the today's session is that we started with current electricity. The next session will be effects of current electricity. Or some complex level question will be solved in the next uh, session. Okay. Till then, see, it's a Diwali time. I agree. Okay. But uh, give some uh, time towards your academics as it is a 10th standard. Okay. Uh, enjoy the part. Okay. Enjoy Diwali from the festival. Okay. Next Sunday, we'll be again meeting for the same at the same time, mostly, or I guess it's from 9 30 or 9 45. Let need to check. Okay. Study till that part. Okay. Enjoy the festival. Okay. I hope the today's session was awesome. I hope all the things got understood. Okay. Yes, everyone. Manas, uh, message me on the telegram. I'll help you out. Okay. Yeah. Everyone. I hope the things are clear. The session was easy for all of us. Yes. Okay. Enjoy your Sunday. Have a good, uh, Diwali vacation. Happy Diwali to all on behalf of Lakshya. Okay. These are the some tricks, which I have shown next trick. I will be showing you, or we will be showing you or Lakshya will be showing you when you come in your uh, 11th and 12th standard. Okay. So that's all from my side and waiting for a next lecture of a MSM sir. Okay. For a mathematics. Okay. All the best. Have a happy day. Bye-bye. Take care.